Damn. <clears throat> oh my god, it's been 3,000 years. Can you hear me? Your headset is not working, brother. What happened to your headset? Is it my side or your side? No, my side is good. Go to the settings and change the... Uh... <coughs> Sam? <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam. Still no sound. Um, hmm. Right. While well, Sam is fixing his sound, let's just get latest. Let's get started. Okay, I say. Oh, now I can hear you. Oops. Long time no see. How about that? I can, can you hear, hear me? That. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How's it going? Good. 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 Okay. Busy. My new laptop. Uh huh. My new laptop. Um, broken last week. Oh. Oh. I've been to technique to. My new laptop is uh, is uh, was my wo uh, working uh, machine, okay. but it's uh, broken. Uh, last week I went to the technique to to replace it, but so uh -huh. far I haven't uh, uh, received the uh, new one. So okay. I have to switch to a really old <laughs> machine. No problem. But you know what? Your old machine has. Your voice not cutting out, and I can see you very clearly. So old machine really? is good. Yeah, oh. I can hear you. No cutting out. I can hear you. Are you are you in the office today? No. Okay. All right. So let me just get you up to speed. We're done with the projection service, or at least the parts that we need to get a select statement going. So remember how we talked about, you know, cutting through horizontally, so we can deliver you know, get out to the other side one particular scenario at a time. And um, today we're going to try to build a the new, or at least talk about, you know, the new node service, right, or OData service. And what this OData service, Sam, is going to be the one that actually knows, you know, how to work with these projected tokens. And uh, let's just take a look here. So now this is the scenario that we have. We have our a tokenization service and we built a projection service like this and now we want to build our OData service and technically you know we're going to have a <coughs> some orchestration service in here and this orchestration service will send and receive so it'll send the data and receive data you know, ideally, this will be OData, OData orchestration service. And what this service here basically, so the request is coming in basically as a raw text. So you're getting in, you know, select equal name like this. And what we're going to be trying to do here is basically take that raw statement, raw string, and process it push it all the way up to a tokenization service, get it as tokens, send it down to projection service, get projected tokens, and, and at the very end, send it to OData, where all the OData-specific scenarios are going to happen. And hopefully it'll allow people to kind of simplify OData for people, kind of help them kind of understand what's going on. Um, what up, Joe? How you doing? Joe just woke up. <laughs> oh, no sound from Joe. <laughs> nope. Sam was having the same problem. I think StreamYard is mm -hmm. messing with you guys. 
Now well, there we go. Yes. Now I can, can hear, hear you. you. I had to switch away from my mic and then switch back to it again. No worries. It's probably more of a browser issue than StreamYard. Probably. Oh. Permissions? Okay. Permissions to your mic? Okay. So 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 ideally, you know, Sam, you know what's gonna happen is that we're gonna have another service, another set of services sitting on this side here. Right. And these set of services, I don't know, some of it will be SQL, you know, expression service. This will be your, you know, um, I don't know, uh, link expression service. This will be your uh, raw O data service, something like that. And this will be O data uh, transform uh, tra transformation orchestration service. And these services, so you can see the flow now, like, you know, the, 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 the query is going here and based on certain configuration, this guy will take that, whatever comes out of this guy here and process it and spit it from the other side to whatever expression we want it to be, right? So that can be anything really. It can be, you know, SQL, link, raw, whatever the case may be, and people can replace these components. That's our stage zero architecture. Later on, we're going to put on that lake queue and have these services talk to each other through that substrate. So what's completed today? This is done and this is done. And this is here. Uh, this is here is the one that we want to start and put in progress. And the plan here is to basically go and say this OData service needs a new model. And that new model could be anything. You know, that new model is supposed to you know, we could reuse the projected tokens. I normally like to, like we could say, oh, data projected tokens. Like we've taken these projected tokens in here. Oh, data projected uh, projection service. So this can still take the projected tokens are coming from here as a model and sending it down to this foundation service. Um, what we want to do is that we want to just pick up one simple scenario and run with it and then complicate things later. Um, what we can do today is the select statement, right? So you're going to take these projected tokens and you're going to put them in a particular order. The order that allows these other services to consume it and be able to produce whatever comes from the other side, SQL expression, link expression, whatever the case may be. Does that make sense? Questions, comments, concerns? Okay. Ideally, I wouldn't want to share, I wouldn't want to share the, the models between two foundation services. So we could literally just say, oh, oh data token, and this will be oh data service. And what we expect an oh data uh, token to do is basically produce so 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 here's the thing i don't want to solve this as a tree right i don't want to go and say this is a tree this is the hard part right this is where the the, the, the brains are there's a lot of glow code but there's the real code in there um if we solve this as a tree then we're, we haven't really done any any innovation here you know that's pretty much how things are today you know uh Building this as a tree will, you know, prove itself to be a little bit harder to understand, you know, for someone who wants to add a pretty, just, just a quick feature to OData Neo. What I want to do is that I want a flat expression. <coughs> and, this, and this flat expression somehow, you know, can be rendered. However, we talked a little bit about this in the past. We said our brains work differently. Like you are reading the tree and your brain is reading the tree. It just doesn't look like a tree in your mind. For the scenario that we're working with, this, this situation is easy. We can literally go here and say, just give me a second here. We go back here. So let's say you have, you have projected tokens coming out. And you're turning them into O data tokens. So these, this is your token that says, uh, Joe, did we consider this whole thing as one, as one guy, in the projected tokens? I think we did, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you have, yeah, yeah. So you have that, and then you have an assignment, and then you have 
Sorry, let's do select because select is the easiest one. You have this and then we did something like this and we also supported things like this. Like you can go here and do this comma and then this guy again, you know, and, and so on and so forth, right? So this scenario we can do today, right? Now we have two options. We can go and say, oh, this is the operation, throw this away, and this guy will want to have these two different things underneath it, like that, but that would be the tree scenario. What's a better way to represent select other than doing it this way? Any ideas? So when you say a better way, well, other than a, a tree? Yeah, a tree is too complex. It's hard to understand. It's for computer science engineers. I want something for me <laughs> to understand. Well, the, the ODA source string is already a string. That's about as simple as it gets, right? Yeah, where's your camera? Uh, I turned they it off because I'm They don't pay you enough. No, I'm back here in a dressing gown, and I thought it would be a bit rude to turn up in a dressing gown. Brexit didn't work out with the financial economy, and now you can't afford cameras? Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, unlike you. Like I said, we get paid peanuts on this side of the pond. You get paid real money. We don't know <laughs> what money is anymore. <coughs> Cost of living is so high, I can't afford the electricity to run the extra bit, the camera. So you're not going to be able to retire to Spain? <laughs> No. I mean, Florida for United States people. Spain. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, I mean, they already said we're we are our own continent. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. So I don't want to represent this as a tree. Right. I don't want to go and say, oh, wait, the more and more complex this becomes the more and more trees we have to build and tree branches. Although I love trees. If you're following what I'm doing on Discord, I was talking about thunderstorms and trees and leaves and branches and all that. Love them. Love them to death. Is there a simpler way we can represent this, gentlemen, you know, without having to... So, mm -hmm. Go ahead. regardless of how you organize this, if you flatten it out, it's going to end up turning into a tree at some point. Uh, some something's going to have to start inspecting each section of this and it will end up building its own tree. So mm -hmm. regardless of what we populate it as somewhere down the road, um, as far as processing goes, they're going to have to start splitting parts of it up and, and start processing those parts independently. So we're just, it, it's when we want to start looking at the, the sub parts of any one of these things, that's when you start getting to the tree. So we either organize it like that ahead of time or we let something else deal with it later down. Or depending on what the – like select or filter or some other keyword, some of those things might lend themselves better to a tree structure versus – so I, I, I don't know if I explained that quite. No, so you're, much, you're, but, you're, you're fine. Keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I – it like – Select might be better as a tree, whereas filter might not be, right? So so, so here's, here's an idea for you. There is a structure that we can build, and it could be a tree still, where we can go and say, okay, if you have this statement, let's say you have this select, you know, name, uh, select name and age, like that, and maybe there's another statement in here where it says, okay, and also, and, right, and you're selecting maybe maybe you're nesting selects right so you're going on you know instead of this being age let's say you know records right and inside that records guy you want to go and say do another select so inside that records guy you want to go and say i want to select certain things sam well what do you do in odata when you want to select within you just open close parentheses and you do yeah, another um, dollar sign okay mm -hmm. yes Okay, so it, I want to go off on a tangent. Does uh, OData support multiple results set re returns like uh, SQL does? What do you mean? No, 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 no. no. It's no, just no. basically one one collection of data that you get out yep. of the 
Okay. It could have nested records in it, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. It, it's a single result. It's not multiples that someone can choose one or the other. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so, so I, I solved I solved um, CSV serialization for nested set, sets in a similar, um, and I say in a similar way by using dot notation in the column headers. So you could say that like if it was select name age um, and then records and then from records also select name. Um, then you could just say it's records dot name that you're selecting as the last expression, if that makes sense. Um, but that, although that worked in my case, because I was just translating, it was entirely my own standard. I don't think that that's OData compliant. However, it might be compliant within our code structure, if that's something that we want to. Inherently, I think what we have is effectively a, a, either a dictionary or a hash, hash set where you've got key value pairs right so you've got some key which is your parameter and some value which is undoubtedly going to be some sort of expression and expressions can be broken down into the same dictionaries when analyzed potentially here's here's what i'm thinking we could just have this service do one thing and and do it really really well which is basically go and say you know the every this is this is exactly okay okay uh, I've been I've been told what to do now. I feel it in my heart. I know now what to do. So here is here is what we can do for this. All what this service is going to do, it's going to formalize the. Um, so your model will look something like this. Let, let me show you what what I'm talking about here. Your model will basically be a container for all its intended parameters. It's intended. Would what? it be acceptable to you to take projected tokens and then return projected token groups or something? Yeah, d just stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me here. Okay, so users has, oh, that's way too large. Users, Hassan, Habib, Foundations, OData, Service. Okay, now hear me out. So we need a new model. Right, we're gonna call it an OData token. So OData token. And this OData token is basically gonna look something like this. So you're already getting a an array of projected tokens in a certain structure. And I wanna take that OData token in here. And this OData token will basically say, here is my so this here will be my OData token type, token type, and underneath that guy, so this is a type, and in here we want to take the OData, OData token, that would be just a string, the value, the raw value, and then underneath that I want to have a list of OData token and that would be o data tokens o data tokens right so what is this this would basically be like you know this is my let's let's represent this real quick this would be like oh my token is uh, uh, uh the type is basically select like this and then the value is dollar sign select and then the OData tokens will be just the array of other OData tokens that are uh, 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 type equal. Have you just reinvented O node? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this because it doesn't use the word tree at all. Yeah, it doesn't say tree. Yeah, it has nothing to no, do with trees. Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's, how is this also, different? How is this different? It's all a key. Hmm. Yeah, but but the difference here is that you know the sequencing of of the operations, like you you, you know, Sam, and when you say an operation, you create a node hmm. and you say larger than, bigger than, and you have a left node and a right node. This guy's not doing that at all. What we're doing here was basically saying all of these properties and values belong to this 
one one o data token. Like we're not splitting them based on the operation that's going to happen to them. In fact, actually, we don't care. Maybe down the stream in the expression service or SQL service, we will care. Maybe we won't. You know, but th the bottom line here is that, like today, how OData how, how OData is working today, it's really too coupled with the expression with the link expression. That's why you're forced to work with trees because that's how these expression trees work. They're literally called expression trees, right? Um, in here, you're basically going and saying, here's the operation, and here's all the things that belong to that operation, including the values and the you know, and the, and the, you know, uh, arithmetic operations and everything else in between, right? Like your, your, your larger than, smaller than, all of that stuff will be still, you know, just an array, just a member in the same array. What do you think about that? I think you've reinvented our node. <laughs> we, we, we knew we were going to write O node. We just said, let's split and diversify let's 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 really decouple that logic you know so now we're getting a bunch of o data projected tokens well you haven't been around throughout the entire projection part so you wouldn't know right but we've broken that apart we basically went and said you know my projection service is going to return something completely different that i can work with right that i can work with directly Right, so this is now my keyword. It's gonna take that keyword and turn it into something that's very specific to data. You know, regardless what this keyword is, it's basically going and saying, okay, if this keyword is that dollar sign select, it's gonna be O data select. We could try it. It's gonna make the conversion to expressions and all that kind of stuff super simple. Yeah, so I think Paul's question is what's the difference between O token and the OD token? Right. <laughs> oh, we, we should yeah, so so since we called this tokenization, we could call this token just a token model. And what this token model this token doesn't know anything about O data. It just says this is either a separator or a word. It doesn't know anything. And then the this, project I'm sorry. Um, it, it basically this one allows us to manipulate or investigate strings better. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that jumped into my head. Figure I'd share. And and uh, for me, uh, for the audit token, mm. uh. It also looks like a tree. So if you change the uh, property name uh -huh. uh, in the data token, uh -huh. can, you, can you go back to the old, old token class? Yeah, let's go back here. <laughs> mm. So all the tokens, the property line uh, 13, it could, mm -hmm. be, it could be renamed as children's, right? Yeah, children. Yeah, I like children more, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, children. Mm -hmm. So it looks like another tree. Yeah, it's but in a tree, tree you don't have. But wait, in a tree you have a right node, left node, yes, and middle node. This one doesn't. That's, no, that's, that's right. It, it's my binary tree, but it's it's a normal tree. So you have uh -huh. the top node and uh, children, and the children can have a uh, children. Yes. Right. So it it's a general tree. It's not a binary tree. We don't have a left and right. But but uh, but Sam, let's visualize this a little bit. Let me just show you. If you have this statement that I just draw for you, let me, let me go back to this one real quick. This mm -hmm. statement here, how is this? This is going to get translated into that. Select like this, okay? Mm -hmm. And then this guy is going to be having these two children right next to each other like this, mm -hmm. right? And then the records itself is going to have a child underneath it which is this guy let me just make this look proper and then this guy will have score underneath it as a child how is this a tree just just make it point upward and you're fine yeah okay. the, the first uh dollar select is the top of the loot node mm -hmm. and the name and records uh uh one love child for dollar select it's well if you have something like mm -hmm. this well, let's say you have an and in here. 
Sam, let's say you have an and in here, like this, right? And let's say you went in there and you put something very similar to that over here. Then, huh? Like in here, right? So the and here. What's the meaning? What's the meaning? You know, when you're doing so, a couple uh, of operations, like a select and a filter, for instance. Yeah. The and. But you have uh, duplicated, duplicated the dollar select. Oh, that's just because I'm typing too fast. Oh, I could I could say this is filter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean a keyword. It doesn't matter. Like, this could be a keyword of any kind. Oh. Right? You mean right? the filter is a dollar select? Or oh, filter is a, which level? The, the filter is the same level, level as the first dollar select. Is that is it within the dollar select? It's, Top it's level. A, yeah, it's the same level as this guy. Yeah. See, so if we do it this way, then it's not a, it's not not even close to a tree anymore because now you have this guy so sitting in, here. So in this case, you have a load node called maybe audit node, or, or it's a dummy node. Uh huh. Or what is the query, something like this, and you have a child called dollar select and another child called dollar filter. Right. Yeah, and the both select and the uh, dollar filter belong to a dummy. Uh, we can call it a dummy node, or we can call it what is a query node, it's the top mm -hmm. level, right? So basically. So the. Let's see. But but that node that you're talking about will be non-existent, not even in our code, not even conceptually. Yeah, yeah it's it's a it, we can call it the query node or it's a dummy node. It's it's a root okay. node. And then you have a, a child for dollar select and a, another child for dollar filter. So dollar select is a as array to the dummy node and the field to the dummy node. Right. And and what do you think about that structure? I think it's a tree. <laughs> it, 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 it's another tree. It's a generic tree. And, uh, um, right? Paul, it's a tree, it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, undoubtedly. Like, we, we can think of really simple scenarios that would lend to not quite being a tree. But wait, wait, really wait, wait a second. Let's just let's just double check. Paul, in England, what do you describe as a tree? Um, a hierarchy <laughs> of nodes in this case. It's it's anyway. a logic. Uh, yeah, if we can, I mean, if, we... if you think of the query as being kind of like your your trick your root, uh -huh. and then each of the parameters as being kind of branches. But then each of the values can have their own branches depending on complexity. Mm. An OData query is essentially one to one a relationship to an expression tree. Mm. So it is a tree, right? And I think the more we try and fight this, the more we're going to have problems. Or so, so just so you understand, I'm not fighting the concept of tree and fighting complexity. Okay. Yeah. So in this particular model here, I'm saying, oh, I, I can wrap my mind and I can, I, I can understand and explain to someone, you know, very, very quickly that this guy has a bunch of values that belong to this particular operation. That makes sense to me. It's a lot easier to explain and understand than going and saying, oh, here's left, left side, right side, middle side. And then the left side has also right side, left side. So like Sam was saying, you know, this is a regular tree versus a binary tree, right? Yeah, for the I... left side and the long side, is a binary tree. <clears throat> so in the dollar filter, each expression in the dollar filter is a binary operator. So you have right. the left and the right binary right. tree. But the, uh, um, for example, the dollar select, it's it's not a binary tree. It's, a, it's a, another tree. It's a generic tree can have mm -hmm. more than two kids belong to dollar select. But for right. one of the expression in the dollar filter, it's a binary operator. Okay. Right. So you have the left and the right. It's same as a um, addition, multiplication, and minus. Right. 
um, it's it's you have the left operator and the right operator and I have opera a bit operated between the two operators. Yeah, you, you've got effectively statements, haven't you? That, that are simple expressions at each level. So you can have a select expression where you say, you know, X equals Y, where X is select equals some value, right? And the value in itself can contain expressions. So you, you would bracket those and say, hey, they're sub expressions. So my thinking is that instead of thinking it of or thinking of it as a tree, as long as we could guarantee in code that the order was processed correctly, we That's could it. think of it as a list of expressions. Now, the fact that there's parent child relationships between them, if you want to argue the complexity handling there, if we had some orchestration service that knew about the relationships between them, then the services that sat underneath that would only have to deal with processing an expression. They wouldn't have to worry about depth. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's let's try it this way. Let's play with it this way and see. You know, uh, next session, of course. You know, because it's almost yeah. time. But you know, go ahead. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, one takeaway that I I got from this is at this level, um, the the um, this level of the tree. The, um, the left part of this would be some form of ODATA keyword. Mm -hmm. And then the right side of it would be any token or uh, node that um, contributes to that keyword. Can so you... you? We can validate certain things at this point without mm -hmm. even getting so far into the, the, the right side of the tree um, just by the, the, the ODATA keyword. So that's that's kind of neat. We can even uh, since the select keyword, you know what we can do, Joe. That's actually a good answer. What we can what we can do, we know that the select itself is gonna get dropped anyway when we're trying to convert this into whatever. We can even drop the entire keyword in terms of transformation and conversion. Uh, but but let's pick up this discussion next time. All I want is one of you, one of the three of you, go back, create a code rub pull request that that renames O token to just token. Can one of you do that? Do we have owners? Anybody? Can anyone do that today? Or and until next time we meet? None of you wants to code today, huh? Sure. Okay. All right. Who said sure? Yeah, it should, should be easy enough, right? Find a replace. Replace yeah. O token with token. Is that what you want? Yep, just replace O token and call it token, and then this O data processing service is going to be the O token, and then we'll work from there. Cool? That makes sense. Yeah. Yes. See, rewritable software. You can go and say I can do something like that because it's really dumb and simple, right? We I did have one it. sort of thing that, where I was thinking about it as being kind of a series of nested expressions. I also thought about it from the the query onwards. So if you think about the original query string. It really is just a list of parameters with values. So that's, it's a flat list of key value pairs, right? That's and exactly what I want. And then when you go into the, when you go into the expressions, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you go into the, the sub expressions, it's just a list of key value pairs. Mm -hmm. Repeat it. It's exactly. So my, th mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my thinking was that we could effectively use dictionaries throughout the entire chain if we were smart about it, but I, I don't know. It was it was just a weird thought that I had along the way. <laughs> we could we could always come back and rewrite things. Anyway, we have a task and we know where to go next time. Okay, we'll start working with that. It's gonna be really simple because we're working with a very slightly simple scenario, and then we can actually put this out there. Like, can you believe this? We could put an alpha release that say this handles the select scenario. Why can we actually kill it? We could try it and destroy you know an api and have it run this is where sam comes in and says oh in order for you to hook it up with ASP.NET, we need this additional piece you know and we can we can move forward from there this is the horizontal delivery that i was talking about are you going to help us out sam or what sam so it's not going to help us for shit is that sort of this <laughs> what Did, are you with me where are you stop looking at your emails oh, yeah. Okay. What? Did you get promoted this year? No. 
right. Maybe next year then Ode Daneo is going to get you promoted. <laughs> he only hears half the conversation because he's in Dubai, remember? Uh, he's in Dubai, that's right. No, he fixed his internet now. He has a better internet. You know, people are sick and tired of customers and clients complaining. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. all right, guys. Pleasure to meet you all. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>